So what's up guys, as you guys are watching this video, you guys are probably downloading the new 1.14 update for Cold War. And these are the patch notes in front of you right now. And in case you guys didn't know, they nerfed and buffed a bunch of weapons for Cold War multiplayer. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 best multiplayer class setups that you should be using now in Call of Duty Cold War multiplayer to succeed. So let's go over the patch notes real fast first. And then we'll be going over the class setups to kind of reinforce the idea as to why I'm showing you guys these 10 class setups uh, in the first place. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you do, and turn on those notifications. I upload videos every single day on the world of Call of Duty Cold War Multiplayer or Call of Duty Warzone. Keep in mind, these weapon changes are not for Warzone. That will probably come tomorrow in a new patch notes update. So if you're here for Warzone, make sure to wait for that. This is only for Cold War Multiplayer. So appreciate the love and support. Let's get on with the patch notes. So here we have the Krig 6 Assault Rifle, which got buffed, basically. It's a lot easier to see now with the iron sights or with optics, which makes it really nice to use. The FAR got buffed in its bullet velocity by 13%, which is really nice, which means at farther ranges, it can hit harder and faster. The Groza has an increased maximum damage range by 40%, and this is definitely going to make the Groza a lot more meta within the Cold War multiplayer assault rifle category, which is amazing. For the SMGs, the Milano got buffed, like incredibly well it got an increased mid damage range by 10 percent or mid range damage like the damage itself is a lot stronger its mid range damage range was increased by 33 percent allowing it to hit people at farther away a lot easier sprint out speed is increased by 14.2 percent ray speed is by 11 percent and slightly increased ads speed so they made the milano feel a lot more easier to use so ads faster and get the jump on opponents faster and then they increase its overall damage across all ranges which is absolutely freaking insane in my opinion this game will be super competitive at mid-range gunfights they also buffed the ksp which in my opinion is already one of the best guns in cold war multiplayer they increased the bullet velocity by 30 percent and made it fire faster by 20 percent that's what the burst delay is because it's a three round burst smg so now the time in between first is a lot faster, which allows you to kill people way quicker than you could before, which is big. They nerfed the AK-74U, uh, so they reduced the accuracy with pre prolonged firing. So if you're holding down the trigger of the AK-74U, then it's gonna recoil a ton more, which is insane. And then they reduced mu muzzle velocity by 23.4%, which kind of sucks. With the LC-10, they reduced the max damage range by 41%. This LC-10 was like an AR, basically. It was a pocket AR and can like snipe people on Nuketown, which, which is really crazy. So they, they, they pretty much nerfed it that way. And then they slightly reduced the mid damage range or mid range damage as well. So the LC-10 is just overall weaker now. With the MAC-10, they pretty much had it have more horizontal recoil. Uh, with the LMGs, they nerfed the stoner by reducing its max damage range by 25%. For the sniper rifles, they gave it a nice little buff by making the iron sights not have glint. With the pistols, they buffed the 1911 so it has a faster ADS speed. And they nerfed the magnums. The dual magnums have been nerfed, people. So if you guys are excited for that, definitely do drop a like. They decreased the hipfire accuracy. And when using the dual wield attachment, the bullet trajectories are now more varied when firing both guns simultaneously. So if you're trying to one-shot with the with the magnums basically the the bullets might not go where you want them to go the, the hip fire basically is a lot bigger uh to make the magnums kind of unusable in dual wield we'll see how this goes goes into practice but that's how that goes and then the launchers got a buff the rpg got a buff right here and they got they, they can do more damage to people in hardcore now basically it still requires a direct hit for a one-shot kill though so yeah those are the patch notes and now let's get on to the 10 best class setups for cold war multiplayer after the 1.14 update. So here we are with the top 10 best class setups after the update of 1.14. If you guys made it this far into the video, I do recommend subscribing if you're enjoying the content. So for our first weapon, we're using the AK-47. It didn't get buffed, it didn't get nerfed, so this is a very good thing because the AK-47 is one of the best guns in Cold War multiplayer, in my opinion, and it, it, it just absolutely melts. I managed to get a double nuke with this thing. So let's go over the class. For our muzzle, we're using the GRU suppressor for that muzzle flash concealment and vertical recoil control so they don't see us on the minimap and so that this gun becomes a full laser beam with that vertical recoil control. Barrel is going to be the 18.2 inch VDV reinforced for that effective damage range and bullet velocity, allowing this gun to pretty much just hit hard like a truck across far ranges as well. Underbarrel is going to be the Spetsnaz grip so that this gun pretty much has no recoil. Combining this with the groove suppressor from earlier and the vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control of this grip, this gun does not move at all, making it perfect for short range, 
and long range engagements. For our magazine, we have the VDV 50 round fast max so that we can reload fast and engage in multiple gunfights in a quick succession because that's how multiplayer is played. You might be rushing with this gun and thus you're gonna have to take out multiple opponents so reload fast and keep killing. And for our handle, we're gonna be using the Gru Elastic Wrap for ADS speed, flinch resistance so we can win more gunfights and aim while going prone. This allows you to drop shot basic to be able to aim down sights fast to outgun other SMGs and then drop shot them at the same time. So this gun becomes competitive against SMGs as well. The AK-47 is one of the most god tier guns in this game. And if you're not using it, you're kind of missing out. In case you guys are wondering, the pistols that I run now are the Diamity. Since the Magnums got nerfed, the Diamities are the next best thing. And these are the attachments that I use on all of my classes. For our muscle, we have the Sound Suppressor. For our barrel, we have the 7.2 inch Task Force barrel. For our body, we have the Ember Sighting Point to help our hip fire accuracy. For our magazine, we have the Salvo 30 round Fast Mag. And for our stock, of course, we got the dual wield. Pretty much with all of my classes, I use the same six perks. So you're going to see perk greed, black jacket, attack mask, scavenger, gearhead, ghost, and spycraft. So I can stay off of people's visions, scavenger so I can get more ammo, and flak jacket and tactical mask so that I can survive explosions and flashes and all that. So just so you guys know the context of my classes. Next up, we got the FAR now, which got a nice buff in this update. So let's go over the class. For our muzzle, we have the agency suppressor to make this gun beam more with that vertical recoil control. Our barrel is going to be the 19.5 inch reinforced heavy, so this gun can melt even faster. Under barrel is going to be the field agent grip because this gun's recoil is insane. So we need to control that recoil at least with this field agent grip. For our mag, we have the Salvo 44 round fast mag because this gun runs out of bullets really quickly. And for our handle, we're going to use the airborne elastic wrap, allowing us to pretty much drop shot, ADS fast, and win more gunfights with flinch resistance, which is amazing. For our third gun, we're going to be using the new meta gun of the Milano. The Milano got a major, major buff in all areas uh, for this update, and let's go over the class. So we're going to be using the Sound Suppressor to stay off the minimap. Barrel is going to be the 9.5 inch rifle barrel to help this gun's effective damage range to melt across far ranges. Under barrel is going to be the field agent grip so that this gun has close to no recoil, allowing you to melt people out farther away. Magazine is going to be the Salvo 55 round fast mags for those epic feeds. Handle is going to be the airborne elastic wrap for the ADS speed, flinch resistance, and aim while going prone. All of these factors help you win more gunfights with the Milano A21 SMG. Milano's gonna take over freaking Cold War now, so I recommend you guys use this class and let me know how it works for you. Next up, we got the Groza, which got a major buff to its damage in this update. So for our muzzle, we're gonna be using the Suppressor for that concealment. Barrel's gonna be that 16.7 inch V2V reinforced, so this gun hits like a truck at all ranges. Under barrel is going to be that big ball or Spetsnaz grip so that this gun pretty much has no recoil with the, both of the vertical recoil controls and horizontal recoil control. Magazine is going to be the VDV 50 round fast mag so this gun has the maximum ammo capacity for the most amount of enemies. And our handle is going to be the Gru Elastic Wrap helping us win more gunfights with faster ADS speed, flinch resistance, and drop shotting ability. For our next class, we're gonna be using the KSP-45, and this gun is gonna be even better than the Milano now because of its fire rate increase, which allows this TTK to be super quick. So for our muzzle, we're gonna be using the Sound Suppressor to stay off the minimap. Our barrel is gonna be the 10.2 inch rifled barrel for more effective damage and allows this gun to one burst at more ranges. Our underbarrel is going to be the field agent grip for vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. Our magazine is going to be the Salvo 48 round fast mags, allowing us to reload fast and take out at least 16 opponents if we get one burst, which is really crazy. Our handle is going to be the airborne elastic wrap for all of these factors, which is going to help us win much more gunfights, which is great. Next up, we got the Krig, which got a nice little buff. So for our optic, I really don't like the iron sights of this gun, so I'm using the Microflex LED, which is a really nice optic on this gun. For our muzzle, we're going to be using the sound suppressor that we stay off the minimap with this gun. The barrel is going to be the 19.7 inch takedown barrel, which helps increase our effective damage range. Because this gun can be kind of weak, but if you're accurate, it can really melt. For our underbarrel, we're going to be using the field agent grip, allowing this gun to have even less reach coil than it already has. This gun's a laser beam. And for our magazine, we're going to be running the Salvo 50 round fast mags so that we can body even more opponents with its ammo capacity. For our next class, we're going to be using the good old Bullfrog because none of some of the other SMGs got touched, the Bullfrog didn't, and it's still a very solid choice to this day. For our muzzle, we're going to be running the Sound Suppressor for that muzzle flash concealment. The barrel is going to be that 7.6 inch rifle so this gun can hit harder at farther ranges. Our under barrel is going to be the Spetsnaz grip so this gun has more recoil control allowing you to use it easier. Our magazine is going to be that 85 round fast mag allowing us to pretty much never have to reload 
Unless we take out the whole team. I love this freaking bullfrog for that reason. Kill chains are super easy with this gun. And our handle is going to be the Guru Elastic Grab, allowing us to win more gunfights, ADS fast, and drop shot. For our next class, we're going to be using the Gallantry Mac 10. The Mac 10 is already a really great gun, and honestly, that horizontal recoil shouldn't be too bad for this gun. So for our muzzle, we're going to be using the Agency Suppressor to stay off the minimap, allowing us to use this gun even easier. Our barrel is going to be the 6.1 inch reinforced heavy allowing this gun to hit a little bit harder at certain ranges. The underbarrel is going to be the field agent gripped for allowing us to have that maximum horizontal recoil control because this gun is going to kick a lot and you only really want to use it in small and short to medium range gunfights or on Nuketown. Magazine is going to be a solid 53 round fast mag so we can just keep running and gunning. And our handle is going to be the airborne elastic grab allowing us to ADS speed, get the jump on opponents, flinch resistance to win more gunfights, and aim, aim while going prone allowing us to drop shot. For our next class, we're actually going to be using the M60. Since the stoner got nerfed, the M60 can be a three-shot kill weapon with the class that I have for you guys. And this thing can take over multiplayer really badly. So we're going to be using an optic and we're going to be using the millstop reflex. The, the iron sight is really ugly on this gun, so I do recommend a millstop unless you want to use something else. Our muzzle is going to be the HC suppressor because this gun has a fair amount of recoil and you want to lower that as much as possible. The barrel is going to be the 22.8 inch task force barrel which increases your overall damage of this gun, allowing you to three shot opponents, especially if you hit headshots, which is amazing. Our underbarrel is gonna be the field agent grip to make this gun a little bit more easier to control. And our stock is gonna be the Raider stock, allowing us to have the jump on opponents with the sprint to fire time, and to allow us to strafe a little bit faster with the aim walking movement speed. Highly recommend this uh, attachment for that reason. And last but not least, we got the old reliable XM4. This gun got neither buffed or nerfed, but it was always solid in this game. And you guys should definitely use this class that I'm going to show you guys right now. We're going to have the suppressors where we stay off the minimap. Our barrel is going to be the 13.7 inch takedown barrel for that super effective damage range, allowing this gun to melt at far ranges. Underbarrel is going to be the field agent grip so that this gun has close to no recoil and is super easy to control. Magazine is going to be that salvo 50 round fast mags to pretty much body anybody you see. And our handle is going to be the airborne elastic grab, allowing us to drop shot, ADS fast, and get that maximum flinch resistance. And trust me, I love the XM4. It's always been a super solid gun, but I love the AK-47 more. So between this and the AK, I love the AK more. But that, there you go, guys. Top 10 best class others for after the 1.14 update or the mid-season 2 update, you know, the reloaded update. Let me know what you guys think about this update. Do you guys agree with some of these buffs and nerfs? Uh, what guns should be buffed a little bit more? What guns should be nerfed more? Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those post notifications. Let me know if you guys drop any nukes with these classes. I've dropped many nukes here on Cold War Multiplayer, and I'm excited to see what you guys uh, think of them. Warzone video tomorrow, uh, as, as well as patch notes, and you guys might see some more multiplayer later today to kind of reflect some of these changes uh, with the buffs and nerfs of the guns. So. I freaking love you guys. Keep being big ballers. I really freaking love you all. And keep being amazing. Follow me over on Twitch and or TikTok at the Mark of Hero for more content. And keep being amazing. Bye guys. I love you all.